Okay, uh, this is a uh, quick tutorial on showing some workflow on the new Moe GUI, especially trying to uh, to explain the new icon builder functionality for it. So here's our Moe app right here. I'm on a Mac, uh, but this works on PC as well. And we're going to open it up. Uh, let me go to options and uh, put the side pane position on the. Oh, I'm sorry, the scene browser on the opposite. This is kind of like how I like it. So. You can start to see this is a, a kind of a standard app. So what I want to do is I want to change this a little bit. I just really want to make these orange colors. I'm going to make them a different color right here. I'm going to colorize the icons over here and change the background from this blue to just a kind of a more neutral gray. So let's close this. So first we need to do is we're going to identify that at what version of Moe, what Moe we're using. So we're targeting this one right here. Uh, and now I click anywhere in any background right here that's going to give me my body color so let's just uh, choose a uh, uh, let's see let's choose like a 92 percent color there we have it so you can see now that's our that's our new uh, uh, our new backdrop color um, and we're going to change this this orange color here as well so if I click here and say the background color of that I'm gonna make that more of a uh, let's make it just more of a regular orange there let's make the border color a little bit uh, let's see as we make it uh, completely white no nope, that's not it let's go to uh, here white Yeah, that looks kind of looks kind of good. Uh, once we've done that, I just hit the Save Moe.css file button over here, and we can launch the program. And we're going to see that okay, we have the new background. We, now the icons we have these different kind of funny icons, different icon sets, but we have our new colors here. They're all working. So let's go ahead uh, and fix the icons real quick. So uh, there's two different icon sets uh, that Moe. You, uh, the, the, the GUI uses. So when you launch it, it creates this folder called Icon. So if I open up Icon Builder right here, you'll see that I've got this, uh, actually, there's no, there's no icons shown at all. That's because if I, if I click on here, there's no icons in here. You have to figure out what, whether you want to use a dark background or a light background. In a dark background, and let's just take a look at those real quick. So let's look at the light background first. So if you look at these images, you'll see that they pretty much use the uh, the you're going to use a dark color for the icon color, and the transparent area is going to be this white area, or is going to be the, the show through. So that's why you always use dark icons on a light background and light icons on a dark background. That's what these are set up for. So if I take this and select all, copy, and then put them in here and paste. Uh, and then we go into Icon Builder. It's going to load these guys up. Um, and I can scroll forward. I've got some colors already set in here, but I'm going to scroll forward to a 3D icon. Here's one. So, um, And the reason why it looks negative is because the icon color is lighter than the background. So I want first, let's create the backdrop to be the same backdrop as what we're using. And then let's set the icon color to be something darker. Like, let's choose this uh, orange color that we have here. Okay, so now, uh, and let's set the highlight color to be uh, white. That's fine, we'll use that white. So now you can see that this is actually working correctly. Uh, these are rendered in the right way. So once I've done that, I basically need to go over here. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it icons. Oops. Okay, and... That naming is important, the word icons lowercase, because it's what we use in the CSS. So, uh, And I'm going to just basically save the icons to that folder. So here they are. OK, now they're saved. I can click on here. And we'll see all those icons are right there. So, OK, let's close this. Next thing we want to do is right click to show the package contents. And uh, Moe, we'll go to drive C, go into the uh, UI folder and here in the UI folder we have an icons folder and I'm going to swap that out with this one 
So it's going to say replace. So you see that we have all these new icons in here. So now when I launch MUI, see we have all these this new color scheme here and all these colors that are working out out here. So that's really a good uh, a good thing. So now I want to show you how you would do this for a darker interface and more a more complex interface. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, close this, and I'm going to load an existing template that I already have that I've got up on the uh, on the website. So let's open that up. Okay, so here's a new a new template that's been loaded. Uh, I'm going to save uh, save the Moe CSS. Now it's been loaded, and I'm going to launch it, and we'll see that we've changed the whole interface. But now there's a couple things. One, I don't like the icons at all. They're, they're not working, and they're looking negative. They're, they're looking like, see how it looks negative here? Because that transparent area now is darker than the background. So, but the other thing is I don't like the, 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 the middle window. So let's fix the window first. Let's go to the view. So the background color, in this case, I'm going to make it a 75%. I like, I've done played around a little bit. This is kind of settings that I kind of like to use. You can set these up however you like, of course. Um, and then the grid, uh, the x-axis color, I'm going to make it uh, about 60%. And the y-axis is also 60. And oh, I didn't get it. 60, there you go, I, I got it, okay. And then the grid lines, I want them to be fairly faint, so I'm gonna take 75, I'll make them down to 70, uh, 71, and the actual accented grid lines are gonna be a little darker, so I'll make them 68. Okay, so now uh, you can see we've got these backgrounds all working working well for me. Um, but I need to I need to redo the uh, I need to re reset uh, this little area this little bar in the middle for one and then do the icons and then this little resized uh, triangle or, or icon which I th don't think you have to worry about in Windows. So let's take a look and see how we do that. So first, let's get that that center bar working. I've got this these two files called the main window corner sizer and the viewport foreground. Ping. So both of these, oops, I'm going to copy these, I'm going to right click, show package contents again, go on drive C, go into users, go into, I'm sorry, drive C, go into MOE uh, and UI, and I'm going to paste those, here's, here, I'm going to paste them, I can, might want to save these, but I already have backups of these, but you might want to save these, as well as the icon folder there. I'm going to fit, uh, I'm going to replace both of these now, um, and now when I launch it, you'll see that now we have this dark area in the middle. We still have our our, our uh, background color the way we liked it. Now all we need to do is fix the icons and we're done. So let's go quickly, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say icons for dark background. Take these, open these up. Notice these look like they're negative. That's because we're going to use a lighter color than the background for the icon. So I'm going to say Control A, Control C, and go into here, Control V, and I'm going to replace all of these. Okay, and I'm going to go load icon builder, click on the background button, and hit the space bar to lift that. And let's go find a 3D icon. Here's a 3D icon. So, um, and I think that we didn't, oh yeah, uh, we, yes, what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit, the icon color, we're going to want to make that, let's try white first, so you can start to see how this works, and let's set the highlight color to this, so now you're starting to see how this works, so now I can tweak this highlight color, the icon color, to something more along the lines of this orange, and let's go into the saturated. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to, once again, we'll go over here, create a new folder, call it icons, set that here, 
save the icons to that folder and right click on here oh show the package contents again drive C MOE this time uh, as we did before we're replacing this version this icons with that icons okay now that we're done I can go in and launch MOE and we have now we have all new icons match with our interface uh, and uh, makes it really easy to work with so hope that helps uh, it's a little bit long and drawn out but uh, I think it works pretty well for me at least so enjoy <laughs>